Red Sharks NAB 2025 coverage is brought to you by... Hey everybody, I'm JJ. We're here at NAB 2025 and I'm at the Adobe booth. I'm gonna show you some of the newest Frame.io features for this year's show. So Frame.io is a creative collaboration platform. It centralizes all your media, stakeholders, and feedback in one spot so you have faster project turnarounds while not compromising on creative quality. For this year's show, we've got some incredible new product releases uh, just off the heels of our V4 release at Adobe Max last year. First and foremost, we know that you're starting to put more and more kinds of files in frame. We've got document support, photo support, video support, and you're still having to put all these assets across multiple um, cloud services because you just have so much storage. So we said, hey, we hear you. We want to give you more storage. So for every additional seat that you put into Frame.io, we are now giving you more storage. It used to be you, added a, um, you had a central amount of storage, you added a user, and that gave you some uh, control over who's in your account. But now we said, hey, each of these seats will provide more storage on our pro teams and enterprise plans. Uh, so we hear you, we want to scale with you as you continue to scale. Second, we want to provide more context to all the different kinds of assets within your production process. So we have powerful new text-based markup tools. So I'm going to show you that first, if that's cool. So within the tool, if I go into a document that I've put into Frame.io, I can click on this, let's say it's a release form, and I can use this new text-based markup element here. All I need to do is highlight text, and then my new suggestions panel will pop up. I can highlight text and say, hey, I'm gonna provide some context to something I'm, I'm uh, referencing. I can say, let's insert some text, remove or replace. So let's just say, hey, I wanna remove this. Um, I'll write in here, not needed. I press send. And then that strike through is actually within the document now. And I can reference that the same way that I would within a video review approval or photo review and approval. Now back here on the project level, something I'm incredibly excited we've released, uh, mostly because I've been asking for it since I was a customer before uh, even working at Frame, uh, is the ability to transcribe your clips within just one button. So within here, I now can just click on the transcript button on the bottom right hand part of the screen, and it will transcript all of the video here. And we have support for over 18 different languages. And it will also support closed captions. So if I just toggle on CC, let me play the clip here. And you can see the closed captions are on the bottom here. But then it will also scroll through the transcription on the left. Why that's really amazing is I can actually now use that to search through that video through the, the, the words that she is saying. So before I could watch a video and say, hey, I'm amazed by the content, I could scrub through the images and then start leaving comments where it makes sense. But with transcription, I can say, hey, what was, I remember she said edit in the video. I can just go to this transcript box, type in edit, and now I can find where she says edit within the script. So that is so much more efficient for me within the review and approval process, uh, just giving me more tools as part of my Frame.io tool belt. Um, another element we have for this year's show is more enhanced capabilities for admin and security uh, within your Frame.io account. So we now have restricted folders, which gives you a another layer of privacy and control of your media. We have access groups not launching into beta, and this allows you to say, hey, I want to give certain permissions and controls to a certain amount of users within my account, but I don't want to go one by one through all of these. You can assign certain people to a group, so let's say the review group, or let's say the production team, and then all of these users can get certain permissions and restrictions based on that actual group instead of by the user level. So that's a really awesome feature. And it wouldn't be NAB if we didn't have some new integration and camera to cloud updates for you as well. So uh, Frame.io is now built into the latest version of Premiere 25.2. Now has the Frame.io comments panel just bundled right in there. So you can export out of Premiere right into Frame. You can rev uh, review uh, feedback and comments right in Premiere without leaving your timeline. You can export those clips as uh, automatic version stacking right from your timeline. So a lot more of an efficient workflow between Frame and Premiere. And last, with Camera to Cloud, we have a brand new partner um, with Mavis. Mavis is an iPhone camera app that'll allow you to shoot right from your iPhone to Frame. And we've loved all the support we've seen from 
Canon, Nikon, Leica, um, Panasonic Lumix, RED, and Fujifilm over the last few months continuing to release cameras with camera to cloud support. So a lot to cover that's enhanced storage, scalable storage for your teams. We've got new tools like text markup uh, and transcription, admin controls with restricted folders and access user groups. Uh, and last, we have that Premiere Pro integration in camera to cloud. It's a lot, but we've been really excited to build since that release of V4 last year. So excited for you all to check it out.